Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a project which is called Tree of Thoughts. Now, this is a framework designed to enhance problem solving capabilities using large language models. And this is by employing a deliberate and systematic approach known as System 2. Now, this framework aims to unleash the potential of large language models, which tackles complex and general problem solving tasks. Now, in cognitive psychology, System 2 refers to a model thinking characterized by consciousness, effortful, as well as deliberate mental processing. Now, this contrasts with System 1, which represents intuitive and automatic thinking. Now, the actual tree of thought framework leverages the power of large language models such as GPT-3 to engage in more deliberate problem solving tasks to basically akin for System 2 thinking. Now, the thought framework, I'm just going to call it thought because TOT, involves constructing a tree-like structure, which we can see over here. And it represents a possible path or solution to a given problem. Now, each node which we can see over here in the tree represents a partial solution or an intermediate step forward to actually completing the goal, overall goal, which we give it an input. And this is by employing a systematic tree search. Now the framework explores and evaluates different branches of a tree to find the most promising solutions. And this is how you're able to get the output. Now this deliberate approach allows that large language model to generate more of a structured and focused response. And basically considering a wider context and potentially providing more accurate and non actual solutions and potentially you're able to see that the tree search process enables the lm to consider different types of possibilities which we can see over here you have many different nodes but it can go through different paths to get you the best output now the thought framework can be applied for various different problem solving domains including but not limited to actual language processing understanding and it's not also limited to like decision making planning and complex reasoning tasks now, by reasoning the power of our large language models, you're able to combine it with the systematic search approach. And with thought in particular, like you're able to aim to push the boundaries of what a large language model can achieve in terms of problem solving capabilities, as you're able to utilize this amazing, powerful algorithm to help you go beyond the limits of a large language model. And this is something that we're going to be showcasing in today's video. You have the code actually down here, which you can install. In today's video, I'm going to be more talking about like talking more about what the project is, as well as taking a look at some of the experiments as to what they've been able to do with this project. But in case you wanted to install it, it's quite easy. First things first, you're going to need to have Git, which is an application that will help you clone this repository. Secondly, you will need Python. And lastly, you will also need uh, Visual Studio Code as your code editor. It's fairly easy. You go into command prompt. You can just go over here. Uh, what you want to do next is go click on this green button over here, copy the link. Once you're over here, you want to paste the link, but before you actually paste it, sorry, you want to write git clone and then paste the link. And once you have done that, you just click enter. Then after that it has finished initializing its installation onto your desktop, what you need to do next is type in CD three of thoughts and put that type that in into the actual command prompt and press enter. Now, once you have done that, you can then start installing the repository. It gives you a breakdown of what you can do as well as how you can install it and integrate it with your own custom large language model. So if you want to get more in depth with this, make sure you follow each command as well as each prompt that is written on the repo so you get a better idea but in today's video we're going to be focusing more on what the actual project is in terms of its research paper so we can get a better idea so with that thought guys before we actually get into the gist of it it would mean the world to me guys if you guys can go follow my twitter page as i'm continuously posting the latest ai news over here so please give this a follow and you'll be updated with the most latest ai news over here now if you guys haven't subscribed guys please do so it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can like this video subscribe turn the notification bell and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos i would highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought let's get right into the video now before we actually get into anything else i want to show you the schematic now it's presenting an illustration that is a different approach 
towards problem solving using large language models. Now, each rectangular like box is a figure which represents a thought which we see over here. And this is a coherent sequences of language that serves as an intermediate step towards solving the actual overall output. And the figure is basically suggesting that the problem solving with large language models can be approached in various different ways, which you can see over here. Now, to provide more of a comprehensive understanding of the problem solving process with LMs, a concrete example of how thoughts are generated and evaluated and searched upon are presented in this figure. And these figures are likely provided to show you like how each of an out, like how an input is able to get you an output through this algorithm of three of tree of thoughts. Sorry. Now, the description of this uh, figure also is able to see or also able to mention sorry that there's two important characteristics in the problem solving process with large language models firstly is the instead of actually using a simple picking of one choice the process involves considering a multiple choices or option this basically suggests that large language models can generate multiple different thoughts or potential solutions and explore different paths to get getting you the actual output now, this is a great way for you to get a more comprehensive exploration of a problem solving like output, which can be quite utilized in different ways where you're trying to get the best output for a complex answer. Now, secondly, they also focus on the problem solving process, which is actively evaluating the current state of the solution. And it currently looks ahead and backtracks to get more of a global decision. This is quite amazing guys because it can go back a step and then go another way and then go back get you the next possible output and go giving you the best output that is like correlated to your initial prompt that you gave it and this implies that the lm can assess the progress that is made and it considers the potential outcome for different choices and i definitely see this as a great way for you to get the best correlated answer using its algorithm now, research on human problem solving indicates that people navigate through a combinational problem solving space, and this can be visualized through a tree structure. Now, in this tree, there you have nodes that represent partial solutions and branches that represent operations or tasks that are modified to these actual solutions. Now, human problem sol solvers usually rely on a heuristic way to determine which branch to actually take and which guides them to the actual solution. Now, when it actually comes to large language models, it's mostly used for general problem solving. And there are two key limitations that have been identified. Firstly, it's the existing approaches that often fail to explore different continuation options. And this is within the thought process. Then it basically means that they do not actually consider various branches of the tree. And secondly, they lack ability to incorporate planning, which basically puts it behind as it's not able to look ahead or backtrack to techniques to evaluate different approaches and options comprehensively. Now, such heuristic guided search methods are commonly observed in human problem solving. Now, to overcome this, what this application or research has been able to accomplish is that it utilizes the thought framework, which enables LMs to explore multiple reasoning paths within the thoughts. Now, in this framework, any problem that is framed as a search process over the tree structure, it, what it does is that it utilizes the node in the tree to help you get the output, which we can see over here. It can go back, it can go forward, and it can reason through its thoughts to get you the best output. Now, to implement the framework, there's four key questions that need to be addressed. Firstly, is how to decompose the intermediate process into the steps, into the thought steps. Secondly, is how to generate potential thoughts from each other state. And thirdly, is the how heuristically you are able to evaluate the states. And fourthly, what search algorithms that should be used in the actual framework. Now, by answering these questions, what the actual framework can do is that it explores through the different types of branches of the thought tree, and it generates a relevant thoughts, which can help you evaluate the states using heuristics and determine the appropriate search algorithm to get you the best output. Now, the researchers of this project were able to propose three challenging tasks that remain difficult for models such as GPT-4, or for prompting types of techniques such as like chain of thought as well as IO. 
However, they were able to demonstrate that employing a deliberate search within the trees of thoughts led to more of an improved result and more importantly, it introduced an exi exciting as well as a promising approach for utilizing language models in problem solving scenarios. And this is something that we can see with this example of game of 24. Now, for the people who do not know, uh, what the researchers applied in the Tree of Thought framework was they experimented with the game of 24, which is basically the, the, the objective of this game is to use four given numbers in basic arithmetic operations, such as like multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction to arrive to the final result of 24. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you get a better idea. Now, to solve this game, obviously, it utilized the thought framework and researchers basically formulated the problem as a search process within the tree. Now, each node which we can see over here represents a partial solution or an intermediate step towards reaching the desired output, which is 24. Now, the branches of the tree corresponded to different arithmetic operations that can be performed. In this case, it utilized uh, subtraction, it utilized addition over here, multiplication to get to 24. Now, by employing deliberate search techniques within the thought space, what the researchers explored was uh, they utilized different various paths or sequences for the operations to find a solution that led to the target of 24. Now, they generated different thoughts and evaluated their progress using heuristic and made decision based off the look ahead and backtracking methods of the tree of thought. Now, by leveraging the power of language models of GPT-4 and the systematic search op approach that is utilized with the tree of thought framework what the researchers were able to do is that they found improved and inter interesting like solutions of the game of 24 and this framework basically allowed the language models to consider multiple reasoning paths to evaluate different options which resulted in a more effective problem solving approach now if you were to confirm like uh, compare this with the chain of thoughts approach or the input output approach you can see that it's not able to utilize the same effective way to get you the output and this is something that we can see over here in this graph so if you really want to get more in depth with what is happening i highly recommend that you check this paper out so you can get a better idea as well as the, like a better idea of some of the experiments that they did to get a better use case of the framework in this experiment, we can see that it utilized the game of 24. It also experimented using creative writing as well as crosswords. So if you want to get more of an in-depth idea of these experiments, definitely check this out in the research paper because in the creative, creative writing aspect, it focused more on problem solving tasks, which int introduced the way of tackling creative writing and testing the language model's ability to generate coherent and imaginative like passages. So if you want to get more of an idea for this type of writing as well as this approach for its experiments definitely check this out because it's quite interesting as to what they were able to do with the tree of thought lastly i just want to talk a little bit about the limitations and the future directions of this project now in summary the paper was able to recognize the need for better search and planning abilities in language models for this could be used for complex tasks as well as for its acknowledgement of research limitation now what it also suggests is that they can slowly but surely explore different types of ways to fine tune the approaches based on a high level of decision making as well as an approach towards improving problem solving capabilities within the language model. And this is something that they're going to be focusing on as they tend to work towards improving this approach as well as working towards innovating the framework of tree of thoughts. So I hope you found this video quite helpful, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm definitely going to release more videos on this because I definitely see this as an amazing tool that could be used to help language models in a lot of different ways. So I hope you found this video quite informative and you got something out of it. And with that thought, guys, make sure you follow this Twitter page. If you guys haven't subscribed, definitely do so. Turn on the notification bell, like this video. And I just want to end off by saying have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, fellas.